The UN's chief urges countries to reconsider as funding for Palestinian aid collapses. This is Verity. Bottom line, people are dying and the authorities aren't doing everything they can to help. Tragic though that may be, this is not Israel's fault, as you'll see when you hear our side of the story. But first, the facts on this story, as agreed upon by The Guardian, UNRWA, and the Associated Press. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres this weekend urged 10 countries who withdrew funding from the primary aid agency in Gaza to reconsider, stating that Palestinians should not be penalized as a whole for the actions of a few aid workers. This comes after the UN's Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian Refugees, or UNRWA, reported Friday that according to Israeli authorities, there were allegations that several UNRWA staff participated in the October 7th attacks on Israel. UNRWA said that while a full investigation is ongoing, it decided to fire the alleged members of staff. It also reiterated its condemnation of the October 7th attacks and called for hostages held by Hamas to be released immediately. The agency maintains 13,000 staff members in the Gaza Strip, most of them Palestinians. With the Israel-Hamas war killing over 30,000 Palestinians and with 85% of Gaza's 2.3 million people internally displaced, UNRWA Chief Philippe Lazzarini said that more than 2 million Palestinians in Gaza relied on the agency for sheer survival. After Lazzarini announced the probe into UNRWA staff, the U.S., one of the largest donors to the agency, disclosed that a total of 12 employees were under investigation. The U.S. also announced that it had immediately suspended funding to the organization, with countries including Britain, Germany, and Italy soon following suit. Later, Lazzarini said he was shocked by the decisions taken by the 10 countries, stating that the agency's life-saving assistance will soon dry up and that famine looms in Gaza. He stated, Palestinians in Gaza did not need this additional collective punishment. This stains all of us. And those are the facts. Now for those narratives you've been waiting for, starting with the pro-Palestine spin from Al Monitor. Decision to halt all funding to the UNRWA will push Gaza to the brink of famine. Israel has already hindered the agency from helping the Palestinian people by bombing several of its locations. But now the humanitarian body could run out of all supplies within a month. This is not about punishing Hamas, but starving Palestinians. The Times of Israel counters with this pro-Israel narrative. Reports into what some of these UNRWA staff did on the day of October 7th are appalling and at the very least fall way below the standard expected by the UN. Funding to the UNRWA should be halted until this whole mess is cleaned up and the agency is replaced with a more appropriate humanitarian delivery structure. And finally, a nerd narrative from the statistics prediction community at Metaculus.com. There's a 9% chance that the International Criminal Court will bring charges against Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu by the year 2026. Thanks for watching. Please like and repost this video. And for more nuanced reporting, visit our website, verity.news.